Hey everybody, it's Killin' Pixels, and welcome back to The Beginner's Guide. Now we're gonna, instead of uh, talking to ourselves, hey, there's the door again. Instead of talking to ourselves, we're gonna go try to talk to someone else in what looks like this, I guess not winter wasteland, but it's very like- To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Let's go into this house. It looks warm and inviting. Can we stay here? Oh. And the house locked us in because it's going to kill us. Awesome. Oh. Somebody spilled their drink. This very nice table. Is there no... F oh. God, those things are creepy. All right, clean. Well, my goodness, I'm glad as all heck that you showed up. Thought I might be having to clean this entire house all by myself, and right miserable that would be. Everyone knows lonely. You'll notice that the hands. quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. Uh, we're gonna clean the whole house, this story. Oh, don't worry now, we'll be through this mess in no time. I promise you'll wish there was more. Why don't I finish up here? In the meantime, could you please clear the table? Okay. How do I, do I just, oh. Did it. Much nicer, that's the table I wanna see. Now would you please run to the bathroom, or bedroom, and make the bed? Okay, I just gotta find it first. I'm not sure where the bedroom is. There's the bathroom. Oh, bedroom. Alright. Made the bed. That was easy. While you're in there, why don't you straighten out the rug a bit? All the little details matter. Okay. There you go. Straightened out, kind of. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? How do you end up doing this job? It's been a long time since I've seen a house this messy. Uh, let's not be mean. Be nice. A friend dragged me along at a time when I was practically desperate for cash. Turns out I've never felt so good doing something for money in my whole life. Never did little, never did like cleaning my own house. I might have got some demons I ain't ready to face yet. Oh, speaking of demons, someone's put this couch all in a mess. Would you come out and straighten these pillows here? Okie dokie. It's a very uplifting music, too. Oh dear, looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Maybe mop that up as long as you're over there. Got it. We're doing this, friend. Teamwork. I feel compelled to share an increasingly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Make it especially cheesy. Yeah, I'll try to get it. Do you absolutely have to? Make it cheesy, dude. Make it cheesy. Come on. Hey. Don't shut down on me now. No. No, it was stupid. Sorry, never mind. Hey, these dishes need to be washed. Why don't you come do that? But the, the cheesiness. All right. There, they're clean. Last I checked, the tub needed to cleaning. How about you scrub it down as best you can? No need to be perfect. We're all just human. Okay. Scrubby scrub. It's done. Is there still books scattered on the floor in the bedroom? If so, would you put them on the shelf? Okay. Boom. Done. Perfect. Thank you. Now then, how about After you After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. I can see that. Darling, let me tell you something. Your house is only as difficult to clean as you are. If you're finding the work hard, maybe you have a bit of house cleaning to do before you come to work. Haha, uh -huh. and here I go with, the other, with another lecture. Of course I, I would. I know really liked this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy. 
all the time, just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Yeah, you had a cheesy thought. Give me. I was gonna say that it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, and it takes care of you. Oh, uh -huh. don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. I get it. That's a weird thing to say to someone you just met. Yeah, you're right. It's pretty cheesy. But there's a bit of truth in it, no? Um... I would say... I'm gonna say this one. I would say, like, it's kind of cheesy to say someone you just met, but, you know. Anyway, so... Housekeeping. Oh, did I... Let's keep doing this. Books, would you please... Okay. How long... How long does this... I guess what I'm gonna think. How long this goes? Cleaned up the books. Now what? Pillows. I'm glad he made this. I'm glad he found some peace. It's, it's very soothing. Yes, question. But, of course, Do you enjoy it this? can't last. What the, the music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. I was making a pouty face, but that didn't really matter. Alright, let's go. The door is open now. I'd made a friend and the music was uplifting and everything was cool and the chaos finally was rang from my brain. But I guess since I've straightened things out, it is time to keep moving. I can't, you can't just stay in that like one comfort place all the time. Oh, light post. You have to keep moving on. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. Is it not? Oh, did we miss the point? Probably. This one I didn't gets a love. bit goofy. Okay. Oh. Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. You came here to become perfect. Oh. This workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends, the people in your life, to look at you and think, Wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you know who is well-developed as a person and make you feel disgusting about yourself? Compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful, I intend to make you into a person. Perfection is within your grasp. And the question is now, how do we do it? But how do we do it effortlessly? That is easy. It is so easy. It's about halfway so through the game, the perspective shifts. Being perfectless, effortless. Oh god. Oh. Uh, on the way to work as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Oh, nice. So I guess the yellow ones are the responses that we should be giving, and the other ones are me being afraid. Only person to start contributing to society. Kids should not follow their. We're just gonna go with X for a while. This is the key. How to achieve it with no effort. Well, let me tell you right now. If it isn't effortless, then it's not the right answer. I still love you. It's just that you make me feel cold on the inside. Being alone must be awful. Being alone must be awful. Thank goodness all of you perceive me as being wise and intelligent. Drinking is not hurting my life. If you are torturing yourself trying to find the right solution for your life, you're not doing it right. Uh... Uh... Okay? Uh, I don't know what affects what. Do you understand that you won't be happy until you love me? This is for you. Seeking out only one thing. What is the easiest, simplest path forward? You, I'm developing a cis gross. I'm just gonna go with yellow. Ah, uh, just kidding. I know we want to do some ecstasy after this. There is no truth, there is no path. Sure, whatever. What if I'm not a good teacher? Do what is easiest, do what is simplest. Feel that the truth- Holy shit, you guys, something is coming out of the back of the room. Look out. Yeah, it is. It is. 
Nothing, no one. It's coming for you. It's going to destroy you. Everyone, run, run! I'm gonna do this one. Yeah. I felt pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. I could really see that. When you look upon someone as almost like godlike structure and you're like, Oh my god, you're wonderful, but this everybody is human. This one took a lot longer human. than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. So I remember I found that a little strange at the time. It's very detailed. His games seem are getting more detailed as you move along. This one seems to have maybe the most? I don't know. We haven't seen them all yet, so how would I know if it has the most or not? Hello, stage. Oh! Bloody hell, that scared me. Alright, the performance is getting... Beginning places, places. Where am I placed? Um, oh. Oh. In this scene, you'll be playing as me. We are the gathering professionals. First, you start out leaning against this wall. Oh, okay. Am I leaning? Good, stay right there. The woman across the room in this chair is a professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to phot photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something to succeed. Go on, go say something to her. Okay. Hello. How are you? Hello, that's it? That's not a conversation. You need to actually conversate with her. Be a human being. Do it again. Um, I'm super, super scared right now. I like you. Here are all my hopes and dreams. Well, you want me to conversate? We're gonna conversate. No, no, no. That's not what I said t to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, I was just the one moment, but I was confident. Maybe it's that you need a better feel for the setting. There are a lot of people around does. I'll, I'll give you some props to work with. The cones that bounce when you touch them will represent the people nearby. Now talk to her again. They bounce? Oh! Hee hee hee. Okay, okay. Can't play with that right now. Gotta do good stuff. You must have worked really hard to get where you were. I'll bet you learned to lean into the pain. What are some sacrifices you had to make? Um, Alright, let's we'll just go with X. That seems safe. You're messing it all up again. You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Do you not realize how important this was to me? I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Everything has riding on us. So, oh, mm, I was... I want to try something. Try stepping back from the stage. So, so oh. What the fuck? Okay. Step back from the stage. To the slight post. How's this? Oh! In the frickin' cage again. Okay. I just walked down the hall of darkness and lonely, empty thoughts. Okay, yes, now the this is working. ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from you. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. I awkwardly can but feel can for this do? dude. After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. 
I have a connection. To play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Click to begin the game. Um, keep your eyes closed? How does that work? Oh. Uh, two seconds. Sorry, I restarted this level because I kind of screwed up. You gotta keep your eye- I don't know how that would work, so I guess I'm not gonna keep my eyes closed. Sorry. What's going on? Captain, what do we do? Help, I'm blind. I can't see anything. What's going on? Uh, I'm just gonna blindly tap a button. Here's one. My vision went blank. Um, what's going on? Please someone talk to me. Please tell me how to solve this. Please don't let this be forever. Again, blind tapping, going. The door, oh god, the we're gonna crash into the door. Oh, and it's over. No? Help, I'm blind, I can't see anything, what's going on? You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. No, it's pretty they're, much impossible to solve otherwise. They've been open. And there is a solution, by the way. I'm gonna say, help, I'm blind. Is that... no? Please don't let this be forever! Oh, nope. That's not the solution. We're on the whisper. Alright, let's try this one. I can't see anything. Oh, cool. Maybe I shouldn't say anything. All right, I'm gonna be really, really silent. It's really, really silent. I'm not gonna say shit. I'm just, just not gonna say anything. Speak something that is honest. Bursting with energy. Oh, no. I just keep dying over and over. I guess it's the middle one, then. Alright, let me explain how you're supposed to do this. On either side of the room are elevators, which go up to an upper level. I know. You have to go up, walk over to the person who's standing there, and then select dialogue option number two. I figured it out, finally. Yes, that's it. That's the truth. Can't keep making these. Oh, I don't feel it anymore. I'm like out I of said, ideas. I was getting it's concerned. Draining me. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So where is that coming from? But then, even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like. You know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Koda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. So I guess just keep hitting two. I'm out of ideas. Keep going. Keep talking. I can't figure out how to say the thing. I thought it was going to be easy. I haven't been honest. You're doing it. It's working. I'm alone. I'm stuck in it. I have to work harder. You're going to be okay. Wow, we went back from to our, like, depressing... These games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Wow. We're getting depressing again. This is kind of getting sad. Oh, very white. Well, alrighty. Alright, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like and a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. 
Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more awesomely awesome content. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time.